Hello everyone, this is another vlog and this time it's another adventure. Well, a different kind of adventure because we will be answering questions from day one na nagsimula akong mag-vlog with regards to nurses coming here in the UK or nurses living here in the UK. So we'll just have a run through. Ang ibang questions dito ay nasagutan ko na personally but um, I think it's a good idea that we read them together para at least yung mga hindi pa naka panood or yung hindi nabasa yung mga feedbacks and questions, you can also relate and maybe you can also add on the comments below if you have any other idea aside from what I'm telling here. Baka may gusto ko yung idagdag. So feel free to comment down below, okay? One is from Ellen Grace Herona. Hi Ellen, thank you for watching my video. So niya, new subscriber here, thank you very much. Struggle is real talaga with IELTS. I can relate pero laban pa rin. Yes, don't lose your hope. Laban lang ng laban. And especially ngayon na binago na ng NMC ang kanilang um, standards and regulation with regards to um, taking nurses from the Philippines because binabaan na nila starting December I think it was December 5 or 6 binabaan na nila ang, ang qualifications for nurses going here in the UK it's, instead of taking nurses with 7 writing band 7 writing they are now accepting nurses with score of or a band score of 6.5 in writing but above 7 or 7 in other all areas speaking, reading and listening from Yonero Omni Slash. I admire your dedication, bro. Maraming maraming salamat. Failing sucks, but once you find success in that failure, it will be all worth it. That's correct. Kaya, don't give up. Just try and try. Pray, have faith, and always ask for guidance whenever you take IELTS or whatever challenges you have in your life. San po ba kayo sa UK? It's from Heroni Hippolito. Um, before I used to live in Guildford, that's in Surrey, but now I am living here in central London. This is from Chris Docs. This is indeed an inspiring video. Thank you very much. I think she's talking about the IELTS Failures UK Dreams vlog, vlog 22. I watched this video. This is a reality that some people who failed over and over again in the IELTS went through. God bless Po. Yes, that's true. It's not really easy to fail and still hope and the worst part is to cling on, to pursue your dreams, prayers, practice, and God will do the rest. In that particular um, policy they've released newly, those nurses who had 6.5 in writing and above 7 in all areas, even um, 2 years before, I think they are eligible to apply. So try to um, negotiate or try to apply from the agencies, from the registered agencies in the Philippines and they can give you advices. And this is also confirmed because the NMC has already released this statement that they are accepting 6.5 for these IELTS takers in the writing area. Sir, this is from Not Today. Sir, what are the requirements for us private home nurses? Here in Saudi, which do not have poor metrics because it's not required by our employer. Prior to the releasing of 6.5 policy from NMC, they've also released that they are already accepting nurses even without clinical experience. So I I think you can still apply even if you don't have poor metrics because hindi naman siya hinihingi ng, ng UK government um, as a part of requirement. As long as you got these documents that you're a registered nurse back in the Philippines, you've got this IELTS scores, 6.5 in writing, above and above 7 in all other areas, and other um, essential documents that you can pass and submit, I guess you're, you're gonna be good. Meron ding nag-suggest dito, thank you TGU nurses. Active one. Meron siyang sinagest na Hi Sir Vaughn, I've been watching your video since April. Maraming maraming salamat, especially UK RN related videos. I would like to suggest if you could make a video about list of things that should or could be brought to UK for Filipino nurses who are still for deployment. Alam nyo, matagal na matagal ko nang gustong gumawa ng video with regards to this, pero ang dami-daming pumapasok na mga 
um, mga dapat i-edit pa kaya hindi ko pa nagagawa. But, um, this is the chance. Hindi ko na papatagalin pa. So, usually, ang mga kailangan nating dalhin pag pupunta ng UK are the following. Kaya, number one is adapter plugs. Dahil iba yung plug ng Pilipinas dito sa UK at iba rin sa Europe. European, other European um, countries. So, bring the UK adapter plug. Marami namang nabibili dyan sa mga hardware dyan sa mga mall. You can also bring extension cord na may adapter because usually yung mga dorms or yung mga accommodations na um, pagdadalan sa inyo o yung mga bahay, minsan yung mga saksakan medyo malayo sa bed or medyo hindi accessible. Mas maganda na siguro if you wanted to bring your extension cords or extension wires that is good, that is essential for you even you travel. Sometimes I bring my own extension cord. Basta lang kung Pilipinas yung kanyang kanyang um, cord or adapter, just bring the adapter um, adapter plugs. Laptop, if you need, sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. But if you have, why not bring it? Headsets, USB cords, USB sticks, um, external hard drive, cell phone, if you have power bank. Mas maganda yung power banks natin dyan sa Pilipinas. Kaya um, bring some power banks if you want. Uh, I think it's really um, a need. Scan all your documents. Yung mga kailangan mong documents, scan mo na kasi uh, mas maganda at mas in terms of safekeeping, mas magandang nakascan yung mga documents mo. Even yung mga documents mo na iniisip mong iiwan mo sa Pilipinas, yung mga valid IDs mo na iiwan mo sa Pilipinas, or any documents that you find important, it's better to scan them and send them on your own email para anywhere in the world you can access them and print them if you wanted to, okay? To copy na gusto mong iiwan sa Pilipinas just in case kailanganin ng mga ng pamilya mo or kailangan kailanganin mo in any other applications back home and then you're here in the UK. So at least leave some important photo photocopies um, in the Philippines. Pero ako mga mga transaction sa Philippines na kailangan ng papel ng papeles ko or ng pirma ko kaya nag-iwan din pala ako ng authorization letter and SPA if you really need it. But mas magandang ilagay mo lahat din sa folder. In terms of clothes, kailangan mo rin magdala ng of course your um, underwear. Um, gaano ba kadami? Siguro one week worth muna kasi maglalaba ka naman. Meron naman ditong dryer and washing machine. Kaya hindi mo kailangan dalhin ang buong SM, ang buong mall here. You can uh, you can even buy your underwear here. Kaya magdala ka na lang siguro ng one week worth of your underwear, even one week worth of your shirt. If you want printed, colored, white, transparent, whatever shirts you want, bring them here. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, mas maganda yung mga designs dyan sa Philippines kesa sa mga designs here in the UK. Ewan ko, personal ko yun. But you can also bring long sleeves or one pair of business attire if you if you want. Coats, sweater, jackets. Um, it depends on what season you you will arrive here in the UK but mostly ang seasons here in the UK are, UK are cold so magdala na lang kayo ng mga siguro 2 to 3 jackets or thermals pair of thermals pwede na yon eto naman dito naman mas murang bilhin yung mga jackets na yan saka saka para hindi masyadong bulky sa inyo magdala na siguro kayo ng tatlo or apat bahala na kayo kung gaano niyo pagkakasahin yan sa inyong mga mga Luggages, pero I I suggest wag na masadong madame because you can also bring jackets, thermals and and what they call coats here, and it's thicker. Uh, jeans, maybe tatlo, shorts, socks. Yan one week worth of one week worth of socks. Yung mga medjas ninyo. Wag kayo magalala guys. Hindi naman kayo supposed to maglalaba dito because there is washing machine and dryer here. Kaya okay lang yon. Hanky, towel, yep. Usually accommodations, some accommodations provide them with towels, some don't, so better bring one or two. Scarves together with your coats, we can bring maybe just a start, one or two. Okay, magalala as you spend your years in the UK, mas marami kang mabibili, mas marami kang makita, kaya huwag masyadong magdala, galing dyan para hindi kayo mahir mahirapan. Belt, cap, if you need sa mga lalaki or sa mga babae, okay lang yan. Sa mga medicines naman, it's okay to bring medicines here but be sure to bring some prescriptions because other medicines here na nakagawian mo na dyan sa Pilipinas are not available here in the UK. That's why, especially if you are used to branded medicines, kaya mas magandang magdala ka na lang 
ng mga medicines mo from there in the Philippines like paracetamol. Well, there is paracetamol here pero walang Biogesic po or walang kung anumang brand dyan. Hindi pa ako nag-endorse. So, if you're used to having these medications, bring them, have them prescribed and bring them and bring the prescription. Huwag niyong kalimutan. Metoclopramide kung masyado kang biyahilo. Walang bonamin dito pero kung biyahilo ka, magdala ka ng bonamin pero merong other alternatives for, for travel sickness. Kaya ako kasi lagi akong nagtatravel pero um, naubos na ako ng bonamin kaya meron akong mga nakitang other alternatives for travel sickness and Lorata din for your uh, any allergies but don't worry guys you're going to the UK they have lots of medicines in here over the counter as well but do not do not ever bring tramadol here because in the Philippines tramadol is not a controlled drug but here in the UK and um, in Europe Tramadol or any drug containing tramadol is considered controlled drug. So, if you really need to bring one, please ensure you have the prescription. Okay? So, bahala ka na kung gusto mong magdala ng first aid kit. Ikaw bahala. Lotion. Well, mas maganda na. Yung, actually, personally, yung lotion na nabili ko sa Pilipinas, medyo pagdating dito, parang nag-iba yung... Hindi ko alam, hindi ko ma-explain. Parang nag-iba. Kaya mas maganda yung mga lotions dito and moisturizers. Hindi na lang kayo mamili niyan. Siguro mag, magdala ka lang ng something to start with. Para lang... Kasi sasakod ka naman eh. Tsaka usually other other employers give allowances whenever you come here in the UK sa first day pa lang ninyo. Kaya makakabili ka naman. Eh alam ko naman gusto nyo magtipid na ayaw ko munang gumastos kasi ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Pero don't worry, pag sahod ninyo, hala, sige, bili na ng maraming lotion at kung ano-ano pa. Um, petroleum jellies, yes, that's essential. Ako hindi naman ako nagpe-petroleum jelly or sa lip balm or nagli-lip balm before in the Philippines. And face moisturizer, but now you need it here because it's too cold. Sometimes nagka-crack ang face, yung hands masyadong nag-dry, kaya kailangan nyo yan. So, bumili kayo kahit isa lang, pwede na yun. Sunscreen, bahala na kayo. Kung gusto nyo magdala ng mga whitening pa rin, bahala na kayo. Kung gusto nyo toothpaste, you can you can have a small one if you want. A week, a week supply, toothbrush, wet wipes, tissue roll. Marami yung grocery dito na mura less than a pound or one pound it's it's okay wag ko kayong mawala ng wag ko kayong mag-alala marami yung pagbibilhan dito cotton buds shampoo conditioner soap um food sa sa time na, na magfa-flight kayo ensure na meron kayong parang sand pack just pack sandwich on the flight kasi mahabang flight din yon mga kaibigan kaya kung gugutumin ka, at least meron kang madudukot na kakainin. Meron nagsiserve naman ng ang aeroplano. Pero, syempre, hindi mo maiwasang magutom or mag -crib. Kaya, ayun. Ikaw nang bahala. So, kung ano man ang gusto mong dalhin dito sa UK para hindi mo mamiss masyado ang Pilipinas, eh, dalim mo na. Kasi, 3 years contract din yon Or, depende. So, medyo matagal-tagal. Depende. Hindi ka naman makakauwi agad-agad next week. Kaya, dalim mo na kung anong gusto mong dalhin. Huwag ka agad magsuot ng coat, mga kaibigan, kasi masyadong mainit sa Pilipinas. So, although maging, magiging malamig naman ang transition mo sa aeroplano, pero huwag agad naman masyadong excited. So, from the airport, siguro mag-ano ka lang na medyo light-light lang na long sleeves or something na medyo mahaba, pantalon. Pero pagdating mo dito sa UK, doon ka na. Doon ka na umaura. Doon ka na mag-coat, mag-coat with a fur, mag-boots with a fur if you want. Pero bahala kayo sa discard niyo Yun lang naman suggestion ko. Oops, lumalabo. Oh. Okay. Um, put your put all your important things on the carry on bag because mga kung makailangan mong madukot agad kailang like say mga passport during the um, passport control anjet sa carry on bags mo or sa mga sa mga maliliit mong bags mas magandang nadudukot mo agad siya. Um, keep all your documents and passport safe with you. Just ko yan ang buhay niyo kaya wag niyo kalimutan kahit saan kahit antok na antok na kayo don't bring peso um nangyari sa akin yan nagdala ko ng ilang peso lang kasi kala ko mapapachange ko dito pero although mapapachange mo naman pero masyado na siyang mababa jump pa lang sa airport pa lang or magpachange na kayo ng to dollar mas maganda yon from peso to dollar dollar to pound so depende sa inyo kung peso to pound or peso to dollar depende sa inyo yun pero ang ginawa namin peso to dollar and then yung yung dollar pinachange na namin dito sa sa MNS Martin Spencer dun sa airport meron din so bahala kayo kung saan saan sa lugar na merong 
mapagpapalitan ng pound, dollar to pound, that's okay. Pero yung peso to pound, medyo malabo. Yun, mga te, kailangan nyo lang sigurong i-change na lang to dollar. Mas madali yun. Huwag nyo nang pahirapan ng buhay nyo. Hindi nyo magagamit yung mga 20 pesos nyo dito. Ah, uh, eto pa. Open bank account. Kung mga wala pa kayong mga bank account sa Pilipinas, mag-open na kayo dyan pa lang ng kabayan savings o kung ano-ano mga bank account na pwede nyong pagdalhan para at least pag nagpapadala kayo sa Pilipinas, doon nyo na diretsyo. Kasi medyo mahirap kapag dito pa kayo and then kailangan nyo pang umuwi para lang settle D Dito nyo na. At the same time, yung mga online banking ninyo, isettle nyo na sa Pilipinas pa lang kasi kailangan nyo ng Philippine number. Kaya dyan pa lang isettle nyo na. Gumawa na kayo. Okay? And enjoy your last months in the Philippines because sooner or later, dito na rin kayo pupunta at i-enjoy nyo na rin ang four seasons here in the UK. And there you go mga chong mga chang mga ate mga kuya. Maraming maraming salamat sa pakikinig sa akin. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Kung paulit-ulit yung sinasabi ko, eh bahala na kayong makinig. Eh video ko naman to, vlog ko naman to. Anyway, maraming maraming salamat for continuously supporting me sa mga nagpapabate dyan. Eh binabate ko kayo. Mga shoutout. Sinashoutout ko na kayo. Maraming maraming salamat. I've had like 600. Ilan na ba akong subscribers ngayon? Tingnan nga natin. Uh, maraming maraming salamat sa mga naniwala, sa mga sumuporta, at sa mga nanonood, continuously nanonood ng aking vlog. Uh, may mga comments akong mga nababasa, magagandang comments, mga, mga meron din namang mga suggestions, pero mostly thank you guys, mga magagandang comments naman usually, at saka mga inquiries. Uy, meron akong 666 subscribers as of the moment. Akala mo yun, 666 subscribers. Anyway, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga naniwala. This is, uh, hindi pa hindi pa ako monetize, but I'm just enjoying what I'm doing here in the in YouTube. Travel, travel vlogs, other life vlogs, at the same time, bonding with friends, and yung mga questions from uh, for IELTS and in the U um, nurses here in the UK, life here in the UK. Hindi po ako eksperto, hindi po ako, um, hindi po ako tauhan ng immigration or ng embassy dito. Pero gusto ko lang kong mag-share ng aking mga blessing at saka ng help na kaya kong help because I've been there on your shoes, I've been feeling how you feel right now. Kaya gusto ko rin namang ibahagi yung mga natutunan ko. Kung meron man akong mga maling sinasabi, eh, pagpasensyahan nyo na po, i-research nyo na lang. May Google naman, may internet libre naman yun, or kung nakapagbayad kayo. Maraming maraming salamat for supporting me. Thank you for watching the video. And don't forget to click subscribe, the bell for you to be notified. Share if you want. Minsan sinishare ko rin to sa aking Facebook page, Eric Von. Uh, makikita nyo naman ako kaya maraming maraming salamat thank you for watching the video again and see you soon on my next adventure Merry Christmas and Happy New Year bye bye